Hi, I'm Stu, and I'm back today with my co-host Jacqueline here in Richmond, Virginia. Now, when we drove down to Florida last fall, we stopped here in Richmond for a week, and I quickly realized that a week was nowhere near enough time to explore the city. So now that we're driving back to New York, we made sure to take Route 95 and stay here for another week. And even though the combined two weeks still isn't enough time, we have been able to hit up over 40 restaurants, more than 10 breweries, and several coffee shops. And this video is just a taste of some of my favorite spots in town. And it's certainly not all of them. For example, Pearly's behind me. It's not in the video, but you can absolutely find it on my website listed as one of my favorite breakfast spots in town. So I'm not gonna lie, I probably have a three-way tie for my favorite breakfast here in Richmond. And right here is one of the three. While many places only have brunch on the weekends, here at SB's Love Shack, they're open six days a week and serve breakfast the entire day. The original location is a few miles north of downtown, and I love driving up there. Plus, there's a great brewery right across the street, so it really doesn't take much arm twisting to get up there. However, they just opened a second location here on Main Street in the Fan District, and this is where we came today. They have a bunch of morning specials, which are changing all the time, and there's always a winner on them, and some great morning cocktails. But today, I went with the classic, the tin roof rusted hash, made with sweet potatoes, and it even comes with a side salad, which I don't eat much of, so Janice can't be mad at me today. And if you ever heard of the band, the B-52s, well, yep, it's themed after them. Here at SB's Love Shack, this is definitely one of the best breakfasts in town. Now, Jacqueline and I have a long day ahead of us. And while she can nap wherever and whenever she wants, like she's doing right now, I can't. So when I want a great cup of coffee, one of the places I come to more often than anywhere else here is Ironclad Coffee Roasters. They roast their own coffee beans right here in town. And their shop behind me is built in an old firehouse from 1884. They got some nice couches and even a little piano in it, so it's a super cool atmosphere. Plus, they got some great Wi-Fi, so you can get work done during the day. And now we're ready to go take on the rest of the day. Now, one of my favorite spots in Richmond isn't a specific restaurant at all, but rather an entire neighborhood. And there's two things that make the area of Scott's Edition absolutely fantastic. The first, is that it's the hub of Richmond's brewery scene. As of today, it's got something like 10 breweries, a couple cideries, and a meadery, all within an eight block by eight block area. It's one of the best beer destinations in the entire country. And this is probably where I win the Bad Father Award, because we're spending a few days trying to hit up all of them. We grabbed some great sours at Strange Ways Brewing and made our own peanut butter and jelly beer by mixing the peanut butter porter with a blueberry Belgian white ale at Isley Brewing. And then we ended up here at the Vale, which is one of the area's most popular breweries, where we got a sour, a double IPA, and a farmhouse ale. But I'd recommend saving the Imperial Stout for last, because the 12% ABV might make it a short night otherwise. Now, the second thing that makes this area of Scott's Edition so fantastic is here, ZZQ. ZZQ is a Texas style barbecue joint and is probably one of the best on the entire East Coast. And that is saying a lot. Now Jacqueline's not exactly taking her co-host responsibilities super seriously. She's napping again. But what that does give us is a little bit of time to come here and grab lunch. They open at 11 a.m. and it's only about 10.40 right now. And there's already people waiting in line. So, this is a great time to come. Let's go wait in line and be one of the first people served. I had half a pound of ribs, half a pound of pulled pork, and half a pound of the brisket, sweet potatoes, and some desserts. Easily some of the best brisket I've had in this entire area. Look who woke up. And I think she was pretty excited uh, also for lunch. Maybe not as excited as I was, but pretty close. So Janice will come and get Jacqueline and they will hang out in the hotel or grab dinner somewhere else while I enjoy a fancy dinner at one of Richmond's best spots. That's part of the problem with traveling uh, with a small child and not having a nanny or family to help out. But I'm looking forward to a great dinner 
and it's not exactly the kind of place I'll be able to take video inside. But <laughs> I will hopefully try to take a few pictures and I'll come out and give a summary at the end. So I'll see you in a couple hours and I'll see you in a couple hours too. So it's two hours later and I am now done with dinner. La Possum, fantastic food, amazing restaurant, absolutely lives up to the hype and it's super cool. I had a few appetizers, escargot, fantastic with a little biscuit with country ham on it. I had uh, some foie gras. I had the lamb shank. All of it was phenomenal. While I was in there, I met Chef David Shannon. Chef David Shannon is from Richmond. He went to VCU and then he decided to get one to get into the culinary arts. Went to the New England Culinary Institute. And then he worked at a few restaurants, mostly outside DC, including the Inn at Little Washington, which is one of the best restaurants in the entire East Coast. And then he came back to Richmond where he's from and opened his restaurant here. Now, when I was talking to him, he was talking to me about all the other great restaurants here in Richmond, supporting other chefs, other business owners, building a community. And I love that. I'm Stu, and this is my co-host Jacqueline, who had several costume changes during the filming of this. And that's a wrap from the RVA, Richmond, Virginia. Bye-bye. <laughs>